Hello and welcome to Take Time to Create. My name is Linda and this is where we take time out of our everyday lives to create new and wonderful things. Today we're going to make some greeting cards, thank you cards, whatever you want to use, cards at a minimal supplies. So I have this one. My whole goal with this was to use my stash, use up what I have, and to create some cards that I can use for thank you, for happy birthday, for whatever, they don't have sayings on them. So they're completely usable to anybody for anything. I also wanted to do minimal supplies. I don't have a Cricut, but I didn't want to use inks or stamps or any of those things. First, I didn't want to get out everything because I was being a little lazy, but also not everybody has everything. And I just wanted to create a card that just uses paper and maybe some embellishments. That's it. Um, so I have this one. This is from an old pattern. I used paper and some of these um, rhinestones that you just stick on. This one was from scrapbook paper and some embellishments and paper. That's it. This one was uh, from an old Stampin' Up! demonstration I went to. Really cool. Learned some new techniques. But I had this butterfly in my stash forever, so I thought I'd put it on a card. And this card was an old card repurpose. So this was the front of a card that I'm remaking into a new card. Scrapbook paper, old book paper. They're all blank on the inside. So if you don't have the Stampin' Up! demo or you don't have something like this in your stash, this just came from scrapbook paper where you just, you know, cut out one of the big designs in it and you use that as your focal point. That's what all of them have is a focal point and we worked around that. So we're going to make one and I just want to show you that we can use up what we have in our stash. We can make really pretty cards with minimal supplies. This one I'm using the other girl that was on the pattern. So this was a two pattern, two girls on the pattern, whatever. You can see that the clothing is very similar. So we're going to use her as our focal point. So we're going to start with cardstock. I'm folding it in half. This was already cut in half. This was probably eight and a half by 11. I already cut these down. So whatever cardstock you have is fine. If you don't have white and you're using color, that's fine because we're going to cover up the whole front of the page. So if you want to use, you know, if you have a light yellow and you want to use that, that works just fine. I'm just trying to really illustrate, use what you have, try new things. So I have some really pretty papers and what I found in my stash, oh, here's another one. I'm kind of going muted with the yellows here, um, which it kind of blends in with my table a little bit. So sorry about that. Let's hear all those, all those colors really kind of blend. Let me grab some of these white papers, the cardstock. There we go. That might be a little easier to see. Um, there you go. Not sure if that helped, but off we go. So I have this from Paper Studio. Like I keep saying this whole thing, you're going to hear me say it again and again, use what you have. I got it half ripped up. Half the things were already missing by the time I got it from, I think the Creative Reuse Center or a friend gave it to me and said, Hey, I don't need the rest of this. Fine by me. I'll use it. So we're going to cut the pieces. So I have my card and I'm going to kind of lay it out, see what happens. I really like this. This is pretty. I'm going to move these. This is not helping. It's, it's just getting in my way. I thought it helped, but it's not. All right. <laughs> okay. So we have this, which I think is really pretty. So this girl here kind of mirrors this girl. We're going to put a little bit of this. Now we're not going to. Okay. So yeah, let me cut these into a little strips, little pieces. We're just going to kind of color block it together a little bit because I kind of want it like this where she is, but I got to figure out where this edge is. Um, yeah. So let me, let me cut these pieces and then we will go from there. So what I did here is I, nothing's glued down. So I took this and I, I didn't want the full, um, the full thing here. This said Musica. I just wanted the girl. Uh, so I cut her, I had this little pattern and I've got these flowers that are kind of surrounding her. So let me go ahead and glue this down and then we'll embellish it. I, I'm not kidding. This is how easy this whole card is. And that's, that's so exciting that we can make 
cards that are nice and easy and that's out um i was going to use this little tape runner but it's out i used it all up which is good because i'm trying to use up my stash i have things that i don't love as much as other things they work but i don't love them as much so it's time to use them up <laughs> and so then i can get what i really do love and that's that's good so we're just going to use this peel and stick now you can rip edges too and i did that um with this card i have uh jagged edges all over and i like the detail that that added so if you can't find your scissors if they're misplaced which happens in my world sometimes um just rip the edges that makes a really neat design and Everything is adhered down and we've got some things sticking out. So flip the card over. Cut off her poor legs. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, your legs were hanging off. And just trim up the edges because um, I, this is just the easiest way to do it. Now, I do want to say I love the cards where every supply is used and they're complicated and beautiful and full of wonderful things. I love cards like that. But Sometimes we just need to make an easy card, and sometimes that's just the way it goes. When you're putting your girl on, make sure her head, I cut her head off a little bit, but um, just make sure that's saying, but then, you know, you can get the legs off. All right. Oh, I gotta cut this edge. All right, if this is all you have, this card is beautiful. You can send this just like this. If you want to add a little bit more, we can do that. And that's what I'm going to do. Just add a little bit of embellishment. All right, so I found in my stash these um, orange and yellow um, rhinestones and pearls. And I thought those would be really pretty. I think I'm gonna go the pearls. Honestly, use what you have. <laughs> this I just found in my stash. I have no idea where they came from, but I love them. I think they're pretty. Use these up because the adhesive does go bad and you don't want these to fall off. Now, if your adhesive is bad and it's not working anymore, then um, just go ahead and glue the back of it. Just put like a little glue dot on the back and you'll be good to go. So use your stash. Things go bad. They don't last forever. Share the cards with people. Send letters. Uh, if you're worried about sending it uh, for postage maybe don't go something as high as this but i think you'll be fine because these aren't too high but if you're worried about that just go something a little flatter but there we go this is it this card is done very cute and i think it's perfect it works great for what i need it for and i just want to encourage you guys to use your stash i want to encourage you guys to not worry if you don't have all the latest and greatest and all the new things and you can make really pretty really neat cards with minimal supplies there you go that is it thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when i post new videos you can find me on instagram facebook and on my blog thanks again for watching and i will see you guys next time